Hi. We're here on the last night here in Bujar, which is the 5th of May, okay, which is a Saturday. See what they did there with the rhymes. I'm just going to have a quick question and answer session with our resident paracetamol expert, French student, and also social historian, Carol Williams. Hi, Carol. Hi, Michael. So, what would you what would you rate this week as an experience for you? Have you got any highlights, any lowlights, any midlights? Uh, well, I have none in my hair, as you can see, because okay. I'm grey okay. and looking very sophisticated. Okay. Uh, I think the highlights of the week, Michael, have actually been um, doing nothing. Um, we were going to okay, so what Carol means there is that we have no car here in Bujar at the moment. Sorry, I'll put the camera on myself while I'm talking. Thank you. So, as you can see, we've had no car this week, um, which means that we have really been stuck in the village of Bujar for the whole of seven days. Um, obviously, we've managed to walk around the horseshoe, which you saw in the social history of Bujar video there, with a bit of history for you. Um, we've also been to the Wheat to Wheat, which is open from it's at about 7 o'clock till half 7, but closes between 12 and half 2. But it's the 8 till 8. We've also been to the Coop, or the Co-op, as we would say in England. We've been to the Tobacco as well in the village. Um, so apart from that, we haven't done anything, but I'll get you back to Carol now. To carry on. Hello, Carol again. <laughs> Hello, Michael. The reason we have no car is my husband got chance of overtime. So we do have a car, but it's actually at uh, Limoges Airport. Um, it will be there costing us around 10, of, 10 euros a day, I think. But, uh, hey, that's life. <laughs> <coughs> and, bit of news for you there. What I didn't do, and I should have was risk assess Michael. Michael's visited my home and as you can tell by my unkempt demeanour and blocked nose and severely infected chest. Um, nothing to do with these by the way. He, um, he's given me a really bad cold. Those are not mine, they're Michael's. So if I'd have put the reliable hive is on. I would have known. I would have filled in a 32 page leaflet like they do in Angleterre, asked him 32 questions and risk assessed how it would have been for my health if he was to spend seven days in my house in my village. Consequently, I am now paying the price. Um, I hope Michael O'Leary risks assess him tomorrow before he gets on the plane and before he gets on the train and before he gets in a taxi and before he gets on a bus before he ends back in Blackburn with Darwin. OK, so as you can see there, we should have risk assessed more of the week and more activities that we have done, but don't forget the main point of this video. We have risk assessed the paracetamol, because I could have died. If a piece of paracetamol had hit my clothing, I could have sued Carol for millions and bought her house for 50p, just like the gentleman thought who stayed with us. Okay.